Hi everyone, this is uh, Big Lee from Posties Rejects. Um, so, get straight to the point. I'm decided to revive my YouTube channel with some short videos. I haven't posted stuff on there for a long time and normally it was videos of museums and places that I've visited and needless to say that isn't happening at the moment. Um, so, uh, obviously given the fact that we're, many of us are in lockdown, uh, you know, quarantined inside our own homes, um, I, we're all going to have to find things to do and obviously I'm a war gamer, I'm a gamer in general and this is what I'm going to be doing to keep myself occupied. Um, so a little bit of background, um, my particular situation is that I, I'm actually a key worker so I'm still working at the moment, I, I work for a charity, um, but the, they are moving towards the possibility of me doing some home working so I don't know when that might happen, it could be in a week's time, it could be longer. Um, at some point I anticipate that I'll end up working from home. Um, which isn't so bad because I'll be working in here in my operations room and uh, I can think of worse places to be stuck doing work. As long as I can answer a phone and use my computer, um, it doesn't matter what's behind me. Um, you know, I ain't going to be video conferencing with our clients but I will be, uh, I'll be able to answer their phones and, and respond to emails and share work with the rest of my team um, so I, as I say I can think of worse places to be stuck surrounded by me toys you know uh, uh, I can do a little bit of painting in between I've got my books behind me game table behind me um, I'm sure I'll find things to keep me occupied when I'm not too busy but um so for the time being I'm still getting it out but I do appreciate there's many of you that probably haven't been outside the house uh, or at best into the garden uh, for quite a while um, and that's going to go on and some of the stuff I was reading today suggests that this could go on well into June possibly so um, we're all going to have to find things to keep us occupied because keeping occupied is key to good mental health now I'm lucky I, I, I tend to have a fairly upbeat disposition I'm not prone to uh, loneliness and depression and, and things like that but I know that some of my friends out there in the wargaming community do many people do I come into contact with a lot of that as a part of my job, um, uh, uh, we help my, my role within my company is helping local people uh, with their benefits. But that means that many of those have got mental health problems and so on. Um, so it's it's more common than most people think. And combating boredom, combating loneliness is uh, goes a long way to helping that. And and basically, we've got a fantastic hobby and a fantastic community. We already use social media a hell of a lot. Um, to, to keep in touch with each other and frankly that's going to be more important now than ever uh, keep in touch you know if you've got friends that you can't see down the club give them a call um, you know if they're busy if they ain't able to take that phone call they'll always say oh can I ring you later or I'll contact you on email or whatever but you know use every electronic means available to stay in touch with people just to shoot the breeze chat about your hobby what you're what you're working on at the moment um, what are the challenges, you know, have you run out of a particular colour paint and you can't get it and so on. And thankfully the internet is still doing deliveries. Um, uh, that's a lifeline, I can tell you, because I've already bought a few things that I would have picked up at shows um, and when I haven't been able to. Um, so, you know, take advantage of, of that social media. Um, I know a lot of you are doing things like this. Um, and the whole purpose of this blog, this video blog, is entirely keep me going you know to keep give me something to do and hopefully to engage with some of my friends out there in the wargaming community so um like i've rambled enough um so yeah this is all about combating boredom frankly um showing you showing off my new operations room i say new it's about four months old now i've had it since uh, i managed to get it all set up before christmas um uh, and so yeah so that's, that's it so i'm rambling as usual uh, so let's move on to the next bit so basically i wanted to talk a little bit about the format of these um uh, so that you know what to expect so i'm going to try uh, to keep my video blogs to fairly be fairly short so we're talking 10 maximum of 15 minutes um i'm one of these people that i do enjoy watching videos on youtube and i do enjoy following uh podcasts and stuff like that um, and that's fine when you've got long periods of time and you can sit and listen to an hour and a half podcast or watch a, a 40 minute video or something like that 
not everyone has that um, and I frankly don't have the technical skills to produce a, a high quality video for 40 minutes so it ain't going to be like that I'm literally using the video in my camera in my phone um, and that is it um, so uh, my videos are going to be short they're going to be 10 or 15 minutes long um, a little sound bite that you can perhaps watch while be doing other things or, or in between other tasks um, I'm going to include, well, it's going to be as eclectic a mix as you find on my blog. Um, so it's going to be stories of things that I've done, or maybe museums that I've visited. Um, maybe there'll be a little bit of painting advice where I feel like I've got something to offer. Um, discuss some of the techniques that I've been using on my own projects. Um, uh, maybe even discuss some bat reps. You know, so, so I'm going to be getting a lot of home games done, both solo games and games with my with my younger daughter, the, the young Padawan. Um, uh, so, you know, you can, you can see a succession of uh, uh, bat reps where I describe how she handed my backside to me because I'm such a terrible war gamer. Um, you know, uh, not only do I get to write about it, now you're going to get to hear me, see me grovelling about it over the over the internet. So anyway, um, I may even put in a few book reviews because um, I expect I'm going to get probably a lot more reading done, as are many of us uh, at this particular time. Um, Duration, I say 10 or 15 minutes. Frequency, probably no more than a couple of weeks. Um, you know, uh, I haven't got that much to say. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll try and put together a, a, a minimum of one, probably two, maybe three a week at the most. Um, depends how long this goes on for. Um, so that's, that's my intention. Um, so that's it, I'm going to wrap this little short introductory video why I'm doing this um, and, and what to expect. Um, and obviously, please leave your comments down below on YouTube um, uh, and visit my blog, be, uh, Big Leaf Miniature Adventures, uh, blmablog.com um, or visit the Posties Rejects Facebook page. Um, so uh, both myself and Ray, who you probably all know, um, have blogs and we our stuff gets posted up onto our Facebook page on a regular basis um, by all means contact me through my personal Facebook page um, I've also got a Twitter account you know the usual all the all the different media use whatever you need to keep in touch I'm gonna try to stop being a lurker because I am a bit of a lurker rather than a commenter I'm gonna try and engage a little bit more um, turn myself off for that because uh, I do not normally spend as much time commenting as I really ought to. I am reading your stuff. If you're writing a blog or writing and starting on Twitter, I do read your stuff. I just don't always get a chance to comment. Um, so I'm going to try and change that. Um, and please engage with me. I'll try and reply back if I can. Um, but that's it. So obviously it goes without saying that I hope everyone is well and staying safe and limiting that social exposure as much as possible. You know, the, the advice that is being given out is very good. Um, if a little belated i think um but you know just keep yourself healthy keep in touch with each other take advantage of all those electronic means that we've got available to us in this wonderful di digital technological age um the social media has a bad rep sometimes but we we as a community a war game community we do tend to use it for the 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 what i consider to be the proper purpose of social media which is keeping in touch with each other we already exploit that a lot as part of our hobbies. Um, let's try and do that a little bit more. So, um, yeah, so just to recap, so stay safe, stay in touch, and uh, everyone be good. See you soon.